The next way I would like to take a look at the results is to see graphs of the elevation versus time at the upstream and downstream locations. To do this, I'll move back to the design menu, down to our two flow, and ask for our two flow results graph. The first thing we'll have to do is to select our results tin. Now that's going to be our two flow results grid tin. That one is obtained from our tin result settings. And then we have to pick a location. Optionally, I can put a label on this. I'm going to call this the upstream. Select my pick button. And I'm going to pick just upstream of my head wall. And accept that and hit the enter key. Now the reason that asked me for a height is because I had left my height snap on from a previous time. We'll turn that back off. So what you can see here is that the elevation at the head wall went up quite high. The peak of my hydrograph storm was at 25 minutes, so that's why it peaked up to here. Then it dropped down, and it would have dropped down to approximately the tailwater level at the end of my project, which will remain submerged. I'd like to see what it looks like at the downstream end. I'm going to give that another label. I'm going to call that downstream. Now the reason we didn't get the first label is because we won't show the labels until there's two lines. So we'll pick another location and we'll just go pick a spot at the downstream end and accept that. And so now what you can see is the upstream and the downstream levels together and any time we give you one of these graphs, you can do a right mouse click and maximize it to get a closer look. Now, if you ever did want to put one of these charts into a report, simply by doing a right mouse click and going export dialog, it can export this as an EMF file, that's the most common for a report, straight to the Windows clipboard. So if I was to export that, it's now ready to be pasted into any Excel, Word, or email that you want to put, send it in. All right, we can finish this one. And we'll close down these tabs. And we're ready for the next step in our two-flow modeling.